Hey everybody, welcome to my usual me and welcome to another Atlas video. Today, about an hour ago my time, at Sale the Atlas put out a, another tweet with another picture that I'm really excited about and it says, a high desert free port bustles with activity midday with adventurers from all over the Atlas meeting to buy and sell goods, trade exotic items, recruit for forthcoming voyages and tell grand stories of their legendary exploits. Guys, this is exciting because it means there will be free ports throughout the world where you can go and you can trade and it may or may not be a safe zone in PVP areas, but whether it is or not, that'll either add to the excitement or add to the safety depending on, on how they do it. I'm really excited about this, but not just because there are free ports, but because of the animals that I'm seeing in this picture. Now let me go ahead and break it down for you. I'm gonna start in the back, the, the two, two animals in this picture, well, there's three animals in this picture, but there's two that I wanna, I wanna cover. There's the one, obviously there's the parrot right there that, well, we all know the parrot. Go, let's go back in the back and let's take a look at this, this character right here. This looks to be a giant antelope with a wider girth than what you've ever seen, which reminds me of either well, it's not quite a bongo, but it's a striped antelope. So it's not quite a bongo. I'm thinking more a giant eland. That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking it's more of a giant eland, but an, a more primitive version of it. And I think that this is what the devs are going for. I think they're going for not the animals that you would see at the zoo today, but things that you might see several centuries ago in history books where there were Creatures of legend, creatures of yore, things that were in the history books that explorers said that they were heard to be rumored and they were looking for. These, I, these creatures are going to be in this game. So be really excited because you're going to see a lot of cryptids, I think. We're not going to just see these fantasy creatures like the Cyclops or the Hydra that we saw in the trailers, but we're also going to see a lot of the larger animals that people don't have never been able to confirm that actually might have existed in the past. And I think that that might be the second creature that we're seeing here. I think this second creature is an elephant bird. Elephant birds have been extinct since at least the 17th century. This is according to Wikipedia. Etienne uh, de Flacourt, a French governor of Madagascar in the 1640s and 1650s, mentions an ostrich-like bird that's said to inhabit unpopulated regions, although it's unclear whether he was repeating folk tales passed on from earlier generations. So I do think that's what we're looking at here. If you can notice, both of these animals have saddles on them. They're both going to be rideable. And all of your animals are going to be able to be transported on your boat if you have a large enough ship. So ground warfare being what it is in ARC is going to transfer over to here. You can forget about your guns. You can forget about your blunderbusses because as soon as people level up these animals, then black powder is not going to even be a thing. Not on the ground. I think on the ground, I think our animal warfare is going to be where it's at. Just like T-Rexes and Gigas were back in the day, you're going to find a big creature that you're going to be able to wipe out just dozens of people in a matter of seconds once you tame it. That's, that's my belief. That's my thought. It is only speculation at this point, but I do think that what we're looking at here is we're looking at the elephant bird, and I think the elephant bird is going to be one of the coveted mounts in this game. It's going to be fast. It's going to be deadly, and I think you better watch out for it. But anyway, guys, it's just a short video on, what, on this last picture I just saw. Super excited about it. I hope you are too. We only have a few hours before Atlas releases. I'm going to be going live and taking a first look at this game for at least a couple hours on YouTube. Then I'm switching over to Twitch and I'm probably gonna do a really long stream because I wanna dive deep into this game and we need to get a lot of content out to you guys. So anyway guys, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do. As I always say, I am my usual me. You be your usual you and we'll see you tonight on Atlas. Hope you're gonna come to watch because I'm gonna be there. Thanks guys, we'll see you again. Bye bye.